Hello everybody, this is Mr. Rapper. I know you guys know who I am, but I always start out that way, don't I? So, for this little mini lesson, I want to talk about two and a half animals. So, the first one I want to talk about is this little guy. This is, what kind of animal? Right, it's the worm. Okay, so I want to talk about the worm. And then on the other side, I have this animal. Tell me what animal that is. Yeah, you're right. It's a caterpillar. So I want to talk about these two, and then we'll get to the half of the other one at the end. So let's go back to the worm for a minute here. So what do you guys know about worms? Okay, so worms are in the ground, right? They dig holes in the ground. Um, some of them are slimy. Um, some worms um, help us with the garden. They help us with different things like that. Um, some people say worms are boring. They just come out when it's wet and they just don't do much, it seems like, huh? Okay, so now let's go to the caterpillar side. Tell me what you know about caterpillars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, caterpillars are pretty cool animals, aren't they? Um, some of you probably talked about how caterpillars will change into butterflies. Um, they come in lots of different colors, shapes, and sizes. I kind of like this guy. He got a little smile on his face. Okay, so we kind of know about these two animals a little bit. Okay, so let's compare and contrast them a little bit. So, the worm never changes, right? It's just a worm. The caterpillar changes, doesn't it? Okay, so we're talking about two different mindsets. And by that, I mean different ways of thinking. There's the caterpillar's way, and there's the worm's way of thinking. So with the worm's way of thinking, nothing ever changes. Everything always stays the same. You're just stuck. Nobody's going to change. I'm not going to change. That's the way the world is. It's negative, more negative, isn't it? And they also think in absolutes a lot of time. What that means is they say to themselves, nobody likes me, nobody changes, or they say everybody is mean. It's that negative, absolute, there's no exception. Um, like sometimes they'll say always, I always have to be right. Everybody always has to like me. Um, nothing ever going to change. It's never my way. Those kind of thoughts mean that it's always that way. There is no exception that there is no change allowed. And what happens when you think that way is you're stuck. You're stuck that way. You're kind of like a worm. You're stuck that way. You don't grow. You don't change. You just got to stay the same. And it's hard to change when you think nothing can change or nothing can be different. So how do we get out of a worm's way of thought? Why don't we try to be more positive? Okay, so this one person doesn't like me, but I still have all these friends. Uh, I guess I would like to play my game but I could play somebody else's game. So it's allowing things not to be so absolute, had to be my way 100%. And it takes a while to change that thought process a little bit. Another thing you can do to help you not to think like a worm, try to find positive things to say. Positive things like, you know what, they don't like me, but I like myself. Or my friends like me. That's a positive thought, right? Or if you're thinking something like, I'm never going to learn this. You want to change it to something, I don't know this yet. Or I'm going to learn this. It's going to take me time. Because I want to grow, don't I? And that's what you want to do. You want to grow. And one of the ways we grow, like a caterpillar does, is we grow by doing those positive thoughts by learning new things. I don't know how to do this yet. I'm learning how to do this. So like all these videos right now that I'm doing, I didn't know how to do a lot of this stuff, but I'm learning and I'm growing that way, aren't I? Hopefully you guys are too. 
So being a caterpillar allows you to grow and change. Now, as you guys said earlier, caterpillars grow and change, right? And then change into something, a butterfly. Now, you noted that my butterfly not followed in. And I did that on purpose. I wanted you guys to think of your own butterfly. So that is one thing you can do right now is get a blank piece of paper or half a sheet, kind of like this. I want you to draw your own butterfly. What would you look like as a butterfly? And then you can color that in or make your own wing designs or whatever you want. And just to remind you that you can grow. You can go from this to something lovely and beautiful, isn't it? Okay. Now, one of the things that I found that I really liked on the internet is this picture. So what this picture shows is the process of a caterpillar changing into a butterfly. And it says on the bottom, give yourself time. And I, that's what I want you guys to think about too for a minute. Is how can we rush? We want that change to be instant. I gotta run this right now. Let me give yourself time to grow. And then when you are slow, you will start growing. And then you will start changing. Just kind of like in this picture. You will slowly start to change and grow and become that butterfly. But it all starts up here with the way you're thinking. If you're thinking like a worm, nothing's going to change. Everything is the way it is. You're not going to grow and change into a butterfly, are you? If you think like a caterpillar, you try to be positive and you tell yourself, I can do this, I can change this, I can learn then you're going to be like a butterfly eventually in life. So the choice is yours. Do you want to be a worm? Or do you want to think like a caterpillar? All right. Have a good day.